Hello, I'm Jeremy Gray with Camped Out with Indiana Football. Today is the first day of practice, and we're going to talk to two seniors who are going to be vital to Indiana's success in 2009. Defensive end Greg Middleton and tight end Troy Wagner. Greg, you're on one side. Jamie Curlew's on the other side. Both of you put up pretty sick sack numbers over the course of your career. How happy are you that you're not an offensive lineman in the Big Ten? I'm very happy. I feel sorry for you know most of the offensive linemen that are going to face us this year. Uh, pretty much the offensive coordinator is going to have a you know a handful trying to scheme up who they're going to double team and who they're going to um, you know pretty much shade their side to. Plus we have defensive tackles in the middle that are going to be able to play and uh, do some big things. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We talked to Jamie Curlew on Media Day about a, perhaps a friendly competition that the two of you have, similar to Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris going after the home run record the same year. You guys have a friendly little competition to see who gets the most sack, no, sacks really. at the end of the year? Uh, I think he has to catch up before we start competing anyway. So uh, I think we're pretty much, you know, just all just hungry just to, you know, come out here and just redeem ourselves from last year. So, I mean, we don't have really any competition between ourselves. We're just going out and trying to, you know, prove to everybody else that we're better than what we put out last year. You're obviously serious about your conditioning and weight training. 25,000 square foot weight room. Talk about how nice it is to work out in a world-class facility. It's good. I mean, we uh, went in there and, you know, broke it in today. Uh, you know, we're not going to have too much time in it, so we're just going to break it in, break this new stadium in that, you know, we're blessed to have, you know, and just come out here and just change the culture of this, uh, this program. Troy, you're a fifth-year senior. You had a great spring. Talk about how that you know, provided confidence for you heading into your senior season? Yeah, um, having that spring ball uh, really helped me, motivate me this summer to realize that i become a more complete football player. Um, I think I've proven myself with the run blocking, but I want to become more of a complete football player and receive the ball this year. A lot of the coaching staff talked about how good your spring was, but apparently you've been hitting the weights and conditioning very hard this summer too. Yeah, I've concentrated on... Uh, just uh, getting more fit. I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life right now. Um, I feel great on my feet right now, and uh, and I made a point to do that this summer. I stayed here all summer and worked um, more on conditioning. Was a point of emphasis, and as always, hitting the weights hard. 35 upperclassmen on this year's team. Leadership is always an issue for a football team, but it seems to be a small issue on this year's team because there's a lot of great upperclassmen. Yeah, I don't think that's a problem at all. Um, I think that we have a great senior core. Uh, I think it's going to lead us to a great, successful season this year. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rather be any place right now with these guys on this team and these seniors leading us.